<laughs> Coop, we got it. You know what's better than one blonde? What? Two blondes, baby. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Super Seducer. My goodness, we got Super Cooper here. And uh, we are going to get this started. We're back again. Oh, yeah. What's up, buddy? The you wanna, camera's over there, buddy. You want to go, go for the double kiss? Here we go. See if we can get it. Mwah. Boom, there it is. Okay, you, you gotta go, bud. So what's up, guys, and welcome back. We are back here for, what mission are we on? What chapter are we on? We're on chapter seven. seven. There's eight, nine, and 10 left after this one. So this is following up on our last one. We've planted the seed, we put the work in, we talked to the girl at the bar, had kind of a bit of a weird exit that I don't think either one of us really thought worked. No, we, we just, just got up and left, right? We just lead her out without saying yeah. anything. But uh, all right, we're back at the apartment. Back at the crib, and it's gonna be time to see if we can seal the deal. After you. Thank you. So welcome to my humble abode. It's quite nice. Thanks. Well, I'm coming in for a tea. We're not gonna have sex. Of course. What is this poncho? I mean, he look. first of all, he looks like a Jedi. Second of all, why... If that's the first thing she says, then she's obviously thinking about it. Right. Uh, pretend to trip and grab... Yeah. Oh. oh what dear. are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that was um. You're you're a bit aggressive. Why are you touching my breast so quick? I <laughs> don't know. I tripped. Look at the carpet. It's dangerous. You it's know, a hazard. I, I I think I'm gonna leave. I'm sorry. Well, it's darling, just, uh, please. Sorry. I tripped. I'm clumsy. You can't blame me for being clumsy. No. He no. didn't even touch him though. I guess maybe with his face. I guess. Mm, I can't honest. with the poncho. I can't his, focus. His arms went around her. I don't understand. That's what I like to do. Like, yo, Chels. <laughs> Start kissing her immediately like in the newer movies. No, immediately get undressed down to your underwear, subtly hint at your intentions. No. Be a gentleman and take off her coat. You should always do should that. Should I take your jacket? Have I ever taken your coat off? I don't think so. Maybe like once or twice. You've given me a coat when I'm cold. Darker. Yeah, I got your back. <laughs> oh. Fixing up her four curls. <laughs> Quite a nice flat. Oh, thanks. It's pretty big. Let's go and sit down. Sure. She's just so boring Is and the, robotic. You know, the kind yeah. of women that give you trouble for being a gentleman, opening doors and stuff, they're probably going to be a nightmare to date anyway. So in most cases, I would recommend that you're still a gentleman, take the coat, open the door, uh, open the door of the car, let her get in before you, like all of that stuff. Don't worry about it. And there are still lots of women that like that kind of behavior and would appreciate it. And they're probably more the kind of women that you want to date anyway. If not, then do the opposite. Be a gentleman. That's actually some of the only really, truly good advice that we've seen in this yeah, series for sure. so and far. And don't stop doing it after you get the girl. Okay. Oh, you can uh, kind of sit right down in the corner, recline, you know. I just... It's good to use this thing. Uh, that one, yeah, you have that yeah. one. It's so awkward. Cheers. Cheers. Do you mind if we recline? I like to recline. Can I put my leg? Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna be sick. Do you like this picture? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, thanks for being honest. This is a picture, so I can change it. If you said you didn't like, I don't know. This is so painfully awkward. The key is to keep that tension. You keep it through the eye contact, the way you look at her, looking at her like you want her, but talking about all kinds of general things. And that's a lot okay, lower pressure than, you know, saying things verbally and being really tension. full on. It's very cool. What's Coop doing over there? <clears throat> wow, you're so oh, slick. I had here? no idea that was coming. <laughs> what do you think of the wine? <laughs> it's quite nice. Cheers again? Why not? Cheers. It's about the only thing she likes about him so far. And what's your kind of ingredients for a happy life? Like, what do you need to be um, happy? Just doing something every day that makes you happy, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Well, sure, Great. but what is it? <laughs> like work? Uh, yeah, I love my work, in fact. Yes, but also I love singing and writing music, so mm. that well, keeps me happy you. as well. And my friends, you know. Hmm. What about you? Well, kind of similar. I don't really like work, any kind of work. <laughs> okay, um, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I think it was uh, Russo, you know, the 
French guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he said uh, that he likes to just wake up and be free and then decide what to do. Well, but that you can never achieve anything if you live like that. Well, somehow I manage. I've yeah. got horrors to do so and different things I've done. I guess. Because so you never plan what to do? No, I don't. I like to kind of um, sit down somewhere mm -hmm. with nothing planned that day, think a lot, and that's when cool ideas come. Yeah. And then when the idea comes that I'm quite passionate about, then I have the energy to kind of, you know, go and work on it. But it's an interesting outlook. If you're on the computer and you're distracted and you've got your phone ringing, it's hard to have that kind of. Yeah, but that's called good like idea. a thinking day. You can have a day oh, or two per week. I didn't like know that. it was called that. <laughs> yeah, but now you do. Yeah. Um, and then the rest of the week you can just live normally and yeah. work and plan. So well, let me ask you, why do you like me? Oh, I hate when people ask that question. Why you do got you some like nice, me? Nice tatas. One of her final checks, say something vague and keep making out with her. So way to show you that she is insincere, you should tell her you never felt like that before. Explain why using your exes as reference points. Tell her how amazing her assets are. No, because <clears throat> nobody wants to feel like a piece of meat. Say. What do you mean, why, why do I like you? Of course I like you a lot. You're super, super cool. Come. You're super, super cool. See? I see. Yeah, exactly. That's correct. Get you some more wine. I think you're super, super cool. I didn't know you could this tell so much about was, a kiss. Oh! You know when people are nervous with their hands and they need to hold something, they hold a drink or hold a cigarette or something? Maybe. Why would you be? Can I just hold your boobs? <laughs> no, I think I'm just gonna uh, see how that VR set works. Are you sure? Because uh -huh. you hold bras out, so would like... Would you like a, an extra... Like while you do that for extra realism, would you like me to touch you or? No way, I think I'll be fine. All right, um, let's get it on then. What game do you want to play? Do you know? Uh, the music mm, one? Yeah, the Beat music saber. one is fine. All right, let's yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then he's gonna pout? <laughs> it's like a dog or something. Um, brush from shoulder to hip with some boob on the way. Ask her if it's okay to take her shirt off. I mean. Is it like a kiss brush? Yeah. That's fine. Just like a little. Yeah, then. Oh, okay, that works too. No, actually, that got weird. You've got a hair here. Let me just grope you on my way back to me. Okay, but if sometimes my hair is that long at quickly, least. Um, you might be able to see if there's a little movement of her hand as if it was to take your arm away or not. And if it's not, it means she's cool with it. If she did, then you see that it's maybe something you can, you know, slowly do, but not go for that moment. So it's a nice smooth way to do it. There is pretty much rejection proof. I thought he was going to say, see if there's movement, like see if she gives it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm too skinny. Well, you're not confident with how you look? Yeah, because, you know, people always say that I'm very skinny and they need to gain more weight and stuff like that. Who's mm. told you that? Yeah. I'm not trying to be mean. I don't know why. She, what? I don't think she's anybody fishing told for her compliments. That yeah. You are not so superficial. You like her personality. Tell her she has a perfectly adequate body. Your body's adequate. Wow, thank you. I'm so turned on. She needs a little more gym. Oh, that is not the right answer. Tell her her body's amazing. Tell oh her God. that she's right. Maybe she can make up for it with some enthusiasm. No. This is the truth. If she wants the truth, she just needs to have a bit of a personality. Okay, it's D. No, you're amazing. You've got like maybe the best body that I've touched or felt or seen. That's so nice of you to say. No, but for real, you're super beautiful. Thank you. Ooh. How long do you wait before moving to the bedroom? Do it so fast she doesn't have time to figure out what's happening. Wait until she is sufficiently turned on. Suggest you move it to the bedroom. Ask her level of wetness. Don't do that. Don't do um, that. I mean, is it C? I would assume it's C, right? I would think so, yeah. Slow and steady. Honestly, I like the hands thing. Just grab it's her like, hand? It's like, like nobody ever like, like touches, you know what I mean? Like a little Go hand. Go for another one of these. I like you. Uh, ow. I like you too. <laughs> Just, no. There's really no point rushing and you'll find it 
much more likely that everything goes well if you wait till she's sufficiently turned on. So, you know, most women complain about guys rushing things, and especially on the first time, it's good to really take your time, take your slow, slow and slowly turn her on more and more before you try and take her to the bedroom. I can see your little bit of your um, bra there. Yeah, because it's definitely there. not all out yeah. right here right now. You have good taste in underwear, I think. Thank you. But what do they taste like, though? <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, it's an indicator that she, she kind of expected it tonight. The fact that she's wearing a bra uh, at all means she wasn't expecting it that night. She just likes nice lingerie. I would say probably A. Well, no indicator is 100%. You know, like the old classic of when she touches her hair, it doesn't mean that she's attracted to you in 100% of cases. But this is another sign because women before dates will often decide how far they're willing to go with a guy. And if they think that sex might be on the cards, they'll make sure they pick sexy underwear because they know that you're going to see it. Could you just make your hair back a little bit? Yeah, look at that little ear. Yeah, yeah those two hair. curls are really in the way. <laughs> Well, what are you doing? That's going to lick your ear. You don't like it? No. Don't. Don't. Well, You've licked really? me like three times yeah. in this episode. I think it's already. gross. <laughs> Hurry up. Because <laughs> it's, it's clean though, your ear, obviously. Yeah, of you course. You just don't like it. I just don't like it. I get that. People are different. It's good to know these things. Like, yeah, it's good to know If you let me do it and you weren't like it, you would just that. sit in there like that. Way better. Very well. Yeah. yeah. No, it wouldn't. I like your honesty. Good. I don't know if any women actually like this, especially uh, with a guy that the they've just thing. recently yeah. got physical with. So it's probably got streak. a very low chance of success and best to never try. I thought that was one of the joke ones. We're not doing very well you with this it wine, too are we? It's kind of no. just sitting there. Look, yeah, let's, let's have some more. Let me move this out for you. Thank you. Okay. He's really controlling like how much wine she gets, what way she sits on the couch. Yeah, I don't like, like that. How do I get her into the bedroom? <clears throat> Ask her explicitly. The tried and tested house tour move. Let's go to the bedroom. This room is just for wanking. No. Tried and tested rat infestation line. No. It's obviously B. <laughs> this is probably the absolute best way to transition. So it's what I'd suggest in most cases. Okay. I might have to remember this one. Hold on. I've actually been a terrible host. You know why? I didn't give you the tour of the house. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. I'll show you around. Okay. All right, come on. Let's do this. Let's go. So, you can you wouldn't take the your lounge. Wine with you. Yeah. Let's see what's next. The pink mood lighting. So listen guys, I want to finish this episode, but I've been a terrible host. I haven't given you the house tour yet, so. Uh, yes, I've never seen this house in my life. I've, uh, over here is the bathroom, and here, and if, if you come this way, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.